Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obito Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. If you're looking to do some strategy gaming on the go, then this is perhaps the list for you. I've scoured the web for a bunch of upcoming and new strategy titles that you can play on your mobile, on iOS and Android. Now, good upcoming strategy games are hard to find at the best of times. And let me tell you, tracking down quality mobile strategy games is even flipping harder. Uh, it's almost impossible to avoid microtransactions when discussing mobile games, but I've tried really, really hard to try and find proper quality strategy games for you. And I've got games from across the strategy spectrum, including automation, factory builders, uh, to grand strategy games, all playable right on your mobile. Let's get to the games, shall we? Frostpunk. Beyond the Ice is a city builder that takes the Frostpunk story portable. Frostpunk is one of my all-time favorite survival city builders. The premise? You're an administrator of a freezing post-apocalyptic city. You've got to gather all of the essential resources needed for survival. And most notably, you'll need to keep your citizens warm. If this game is anything like its full-featured PC brother, or indeed the upcoming full-featured PC sequel, then this is going to be a very, very, very impressive game indeed. Now, it's been in development for a couple of years, and it's currently undergoing some regional tests, presumably to, pair, uh, to prepare for a general launch. And there is still no word on a time frame for this, but hopefully, it's going to be real soon indeed. Builderment is an automation game and factory builder that has actually been on mobile devices for some time now. You've got to mine valuable resources, build machines to craft increasingly complex items, transport materials on a network of conveyor belts, and research technology to improve production and efficiency. Of course, you're able to share optimized sections of your factory with other players using blueprints as well, which is pretty darned cool. Now, all things considered, this is a really tight factory builder, especially if you're looking for a mobile sort of on-the-go Factorio style game. It's really, really good. Um, as I was saying, it has been on mobile for a while now, but the reason that it's made it onto this list is because the Steam release is just around the corner and is set to release on the 24th of October. So if you're looking to play this one on mobile or PC, uh, you're going to have your pick of the bunch. You're going to have your pick of where to play it. Um, I've played the PC version of this one recently. Really, really enjoyed it. Video up in the top right-hand corner if you're interested in seeing how it plays. Total War Battles Warhammer is an official Total War title for, you guessed it, cell phones. Uh, this is a tactical war simulation mobile game, if you've never heard of Total War before. Uh, from micro unit management in battle to macro mediation between players and factions, your empire requires your wits and strategies to stand its ground amidst the scheming skaven and against the threat from rival factions. In short, strategy always prevails. Uh, this looks set to be a pretty faithful adaptation of the hugely popular Total War franchise, uh, except this time, of course, it's for Android and iOS, uh, which I have to be honest, looks pretty darned tough to do. Uh, Total War games tend to simulate such a a huge number of items at the same time. You know, we're talking huge battles and massive worlds, uh, and getting that onto uh, to a mobile device can't be an easy feat. However, if the developers are able to pull it off, soon you'll be able to command your army of orcs on the bus, or indeed, uh, wherever you happen to be going. No word on when this one will be arriving, uh, but be sure to follow uh, if you're interested in following along with, uh, with this strategy game and a whole bunch of others. Another grand strategy game that's going to be making the leap to mobile is Age of Empires. The creatively titled Age of Empires Mobile brings the classic RTS game to handheld devices. Announced about a year ago, uh, we've got a teaser trailer and honestly not much more to go on. Uh, given that Microsoft has now finished its takeover of Blizzard Activision King, King specifically managing uh, to pump out some mobile smash hits such as Candy Crush, it's not surprising that they're going to want to parlay some of their most successful PC IPs over to mobile and make a little bit of extra cash in the process. Anyway, 
If this game is able to capture even some of the spirit of the uh, of the PC games, then it is going to be a great title and I can't wait. No word on a release date yet, but we'll keep you up to date. So get subscribed to hear more. Roman's Age of Caesar is a new co-op online RTS with a plethora of city building mechanics and features, crowned by an expansive political endgame. With multiple shared worlds and full co-op experience on offer, you get to lead the greatest warriors of the ancient world against the barbarian hordes, or indeed test your mettle against worthy foes in PvP by claiming victory through strategic warfare and political subterfuge. Whether through cunning or confrontation, combine your strengths with others for the good of your cities and for the glory of your empire. To have any hope in succeeding, you must be willing to do everything it takes to achieve the ultimate power and be crowned Caesar. Uh, this is a title that is actually literally, as we're speaking, uh, just released whilst I was writing this uh, script specifically. It's made by the creators of the classic castle sieging game, Stronghold, uh, and Roman's Age of Caesar is obviously a Roman-themed twist on the classic city builder uh, with a bunch of co-op integration and RTS integration uh, as well. Sitting at four stars, currently on the Play Store as I write this, with the exception of a few teething technical issues, the game seems to be uh, pretty pretty well received. Uh, it's free to play and out now, so you can check it out to see for yourself. Become history's greatest rail baron in Sid Meier's Railroads. In this captivating mix of model, train set, and railway management simulator, lay tracks and optimize routes to establish lucrative networks of cities and industries, transporting passengers, raw materials, and goods across continents. Grow profits through efficiency, innovation, and shrewd business decisions as you acquire valuable patents, trade stocks, and build or buy industries. Compete with world leaders and industrial titans to achieve the ultimate goal, becoming the greatest railroad tycoon of the age. This one was actually released earlier in this year, and by all accounts, it has been an absolute smash hit, and it's apparently an excellent port uh, of the original game. Almost everyone is rating this one highly on the Play Store, uh, and if you're interested in classic tycoon games, then this is absolutely one that you should be picking up. It's a little bit on the pricey side for a mobile title, but if you're looking to spend hours on the go and fix that tycoon fix, then this could be the one for you. Earn your place among the gods in this strategy game based on the hit series, Vikings Valhalla. Build your settlement and lead raids against rivals to become a legend. Prove your might in PvP battles, build and upgrade your settlement, recruit and lead your warband on raids against rivals for resources, riches, and glory. Defend your settlement from enemy attacks and take part in campaign battles to progress through an original story inspired by the Netflix hit series. This is a little bit of a funky one because this game is one that is only available to Netflix subscribers and it's part of their push into the whole sort of like mobile gaming market. Um, and it's actually another game that has just been released over the course of writing this video script uh, so you can play this one right now assuming that you're subscribed to Netflix if indeed you're interested in Vikings and city building and Viking combat. Daring adventures, perilous terrain, dubious companions, Junk World has it all. Command the resourceful Scavenger Clan as they survive the mayhem of post-apocalyptic tactical battles. Deploy towers, use special units and gadgets, and train amazing heroes. This is a super quirky looking tower defense game. It's currently only available for iOS and Mac through the Apple Arcade, but we've seen some other titles make their way from Apple Arcade to Android after a bit of a delay. So, you know, there might be something that happens with that a little bit later down the line. Uh, this is another one that's just released as well, so if you've got an Apple device right now, you can give it a go. Uh, this one looks super unique. I'm very interested. I'll definitely be checking this one out. Warcraft Rumble is a mobile action strategy game where collectible Warcraft minis come to life to clash in epic melee battles. Whether you choose to play the massive single player campaign or compete head to head in epic PvP battles, prepare to experience the true meaning of joyful chaos. Warcraft Rumble seems to be a sort of Clash of Clans style PvP game, 
but sort of set in the Warcraft universe, similar to Hearthstone uh, in that sense, uh, because it uses Warcraft heroes and units, which, if that's your thing, very, very cool indeed. Uh, whilst I'm not really sure what level of strategic depth we're going to descend to in this title, uh, and of course the risk with any game like this is, of course, the microtransactions and the way that they're implemented. Uh, those concerns aside, this looks cool. Uh, Warcraft, not personally, uh, something that I am particularly au fait with. I'm not super deep into the Warcraft lore, uh, but if this is your sort of, uh, sort of strategy game, then yeah, check it out. And finally, we've got Terra Nil. Now, Terra Nil is an intricate environmental strategy game about transforming a barren wasteland into a thriving, balanced ecosystem. Bring life back to a lifeless world by purifying soil, cleaning oceans, planting trees, and reintroducing wildlife. Then leave without a trace. I really enjoyed my time with the PC version of this game video up in the top right hand corner uh, if you're interested in seeing what it looks like to play on a computer. Uh, this is another game that you're unfortunately going to need a Netflix account to play. Uh, however, I can certainly say it's an excellent strategy game with a few sort of tricky puzzle elements. Uh, it's really beautiful. Uh, it's a great, lovely little game to play. Came out earlier this year, uh, and I'd absolutely recommend it if uh, if sort of if sort of quirky city builders are your thing. So that's it for my list of new and upcoming mobile strategy games in 2023-2024. What do you think? Are you interested in playing any? Is there a few obvious omissions that I have made from this list? Please do let me know in the comments down below. I, I really do value all the comments. I read each and every single comment uh, that you make, so I'd be very interested in uh, in seeing what you guys are going to be playing over the next uh, over the next wee while. Anyway, thank you ever so much for watching, folks. Check out the Patreon if you're interested in helping make videos that is possible. I'll see you next time. Bye.